What is going on, Multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. So as we know, Multiverses is currently in beta. So what is the point of a beta? Well, it's to gather information and feedback and to make changes and adjustments that better the current version of the game. So with Multiverses being in beta, I figured I'd make a quick little video for some ideas for some quality of life improvements that I think... Again, they're not the biggest changes, but quality of life changes don't always have to be the biggest thing. It's just something that would be nice to see. So I got a list of a few ideas. So let's jump into the first one. Quality of life change number one. How about a preview for taunts? How about a preview for taunts? So say you go look at your favorite character and you go, ooh, they have uh, they got a taunt. But what does it look like? I mean, sure, there's a quick little image of Superman doing a push-up with one finger, but... What exactly, how does it look in game? So what if you clicked on it and you go to the purchase screen and it still has the unlock taunt over here on the right, but say over on the left hand side, they could put up just a quick little looping video of said character doing said taunt. For So for example, what if they just put up a quick little video of Superman actually doing the taunts? That way I at least get to visualize it, to see it. And I think it would be a pretty simple change to the game. It's nothing like groundbreaking. You don't need to completely change the game around. Just a quick little video on loop of said taunt, you know, showing off. And we've already had examples of player first games changing stuff like that. Like we wanted previews for ring announcers, right? We wanted to know what they want. So for example, if I wanted to buy Harley, I wanted to know what she would sound like. So I just now just have to click on her. Um, hold on. Okay. She was glitched. Try that again. <laughs> Is Harley glitched? Is that weird? Velma works. Uh, Harley apparently doesn't work, so don't buy Harley. Uh, but uh, yeah, they've already added this feature for, uh, you know, announcer packs. So they could easily do that for, say, uh, you know, uh, the taunts. I think it would be a nice little change to make. Quality of life change number two that I would really like to see. A login bonus, you know? so And it could just be like five... Seven days, it could just be the same seven days. For example, you log in for the first time in one day and it could just be as simple as, all right, first day you logged in, you get 25 bonus gold. I know it's not crazy much, but it's, you're literally logging into play anyway. So it's just a tiny little bonus. But day one, you get 25 gold. Day two, you come back two consecutive days. Day two, you get 50 gold. Day three, you get 75 gold. Day four, 100 gold. Day five, 200 gold. Day six, 300 and then 400. You get it, like it escalates over time but it can stop, you know, it only happens for one through seven. So then once you, you know, hit day seven, it can just kind of go back and repeat or something like that. Or you just continue to get the max rewards for every day that you log in. But a nice little daily login bonus would be pretty nice. What do you think, Rick? I'm Rick D716. That's exactly what I thought he was going to say. Quality of life change number three that I would really like to see has to do with the character progression system down below. So right now I don't have Steven maxed out at 15, but that's the thing. It only goes to, um, can I, there we go. It only goes to level 15. Now I'm not asking for more, you know, skins or perks or whatever it might be, but what about like every five perks you get toast and then the five perks after or five tiers after that. So like, for example, say tier 20, I get like, 20 toast. Then tier 25, I get like 200 gold or something like that. That way there's always something that's coming up and you can keep leveling up your character because you can, obviously everybody knows, you can go past level 15 with a character, but you don't really get anything past 15. So just something little, little tiny in-game rewards, I think would be really fun. That way it, you always have something you're working towards. So I don't know, just an idea that I had. Quality of life change number four, I think we're on four, is when you're on this menu before you're about to start a match, not the perks, but you see your little banner, there's so much more room to add more badges and you know multiverses will add more badges over time. Cause like, sure, I can display my ring outs, but maybe I want to display number of wins. Maybe I also want to display the number of wins for a certain character, like their mastery badge. That would just be something that would be really fun. There's plenty of room, so I hope that gets added at some point. Come on, let us show off our stats a little bit more. And you know they're gonna be adding plenty, plenty more badges over time. Another quality of life change that I would love to see. Yeah, you guys would too. Can we get some more variety on the daily missions? 
I know that they're probably coming in the, you know, player first games, they're making more. But, you know, we've all had those days where we log on and it's bl- Wonder Wo- use Wonder Woman's shield to block a projectile, play as a tank character, and then play as a character from DC. It's like, okay, we get it. You want us to play Wonder Woman. But how about a few other ideas, you know, J- just simple ones. You don't have to be absolutely crazy with them. You know, it could just be as simple as toast a player back. Okay, cool. And then you get rewarded for it for toasting. And if, you know, your opponent also happens to have that as a daily challenge or daily mission, well, guess what? They get it done too, and they toast you back. So that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe, like, play three different characters in the day. That's pretty simple. Play three matches, play three different characters. And then another fun one, how about just accept a rematch? They could easily do that. You know, that way we get some more rematches. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all down for some rematches. I know you guys are too, but uh, yeah, just some more variety for daily missions. Another really helpful one that I would find is, you know how you have to give toast individually? Well, what if you make up your mind to toast to everybody? What if they put like a toast all button just like right up top, just right up top, you know, right where you win or lose, just something right up here, toast all. And you can press that and boom, 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 three toasts are given out. That way, if you decide to toast everybody, it's one click of a button instead of three. I know it can be not, I mean, it's not that annoying, but it would be a nice little change to have. And one final quality of life improvement that I would love to see, I think many other people would as well. So when you start a match, right, you, you choose your character already, and then you get into a match. I'm doing bots. But for example, you will pick your perks, and sometimes it can take a while. It can take a little bit before everyone eat readies up, but even if everyone does ready up extremely quickly, what if after you choose your perks, there's a little voting option somewhere on screen, maybe up top here, over on the left hand side, wherever it might be, where you can vote for which stage you want to go to. There could be like three options. Many games have this sort of, you know, feature implemented. So say for example, I'm not the biggest fan of the Scooby Mansion, so say Scooby Mansion pops up, and I just go, all right, I'm just not voting for that one. Or if you don't like Tree Fort, you don't, you know, or whatever stage you do like, you can end up voting for that one. So I think that would be a very big, very welcomed, you know, quality of life thing. But just to have the ability to actually vote for a map before the match, that'd be kind of a cool thing. It might be a little bit of extra work on the devs part because the stage as of right now loads in first, you know, because you see it in the background. But what if you just, you know, vote and then everything loads from there? I think that'd be a really cool thing to do. So, yeah, those are just a few quality of life adjustments that I th- would hope Multiverses makes one day. Any of your own ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments. Maybe we'll send them over to Tony and Player First Games. Maybe they like some of them and implement the ideas or maybe they don't. Either way, that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.